Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about order up to level inventory system. That is the problem we have based on a refrigerator inventory system. The question what they given here is the consider the refrigerator inventory system with a maximum inventory level M is 11 units. That is we can do a maximum inventory level that is up to 11 units. And the review period is 5 days. That review period will be for every 5 days the review period will be there. Estimate by simulation what we have to estimate the given year. The average ending unit in inventory and the number of days when a shortage condition occurs. Initially the simulation is started with inventory level of 3 units. We have to start the simulation with the 3 units and an order of 8 units scheduled to arrive in 2 days time. So an order of 8 units. Initially we have a 3 units and that remaining 8 units is going to arrive in 2 days time. So this we have to simulate for 3 cycle. It means that review period is for every 5 days. And if we are doing for this for 3 cycles means total 15 days we have to simulate this table. So the random digit for the daily demand it's given here. Some random digits they are given. And the random digit for lead time they are given 503. 3 values are given. That is random digit for lead time only for three cycles after completion of one cycle one value we have to add and after completion of second cycle we have to add zero and after completion of sec third cycle we have to add a three now let us see the solution what we have to do here is the random distribution for daily demand distribution so probability here it's given so this demand and probability they are going to give in the question itself. So we have to calculate the cumulative probability for this. The cumulative probability how we are going to calculate the cumulative probability is addition of the probability values. So 0 0.1, 0 0.10 itself. The next cumulative probability is, is 0 0.10 plus 0 0.25. We are going to get it as 0 0.35. And next 0 0.10, 0 0.25 or 0 0.35. Or else you can do 0 0.35 plus 0 0.35. Both are same values you are going to get 0 0.70. Again, if I add all these four values or 0 0.70 plus 0 0.21, either of the one. So you can do 0 0.91. So the next value, if I add 0 0.91 with 0 0.09, so you are going to get a value 1.00. So at the end, the cumulative probability value will become always 1. So random digit, how we are going to assign the random digits? We have a condition for the random digit. The random digit always lies between 0 and 1. So we have to write a number that is starts from 0, 1, 2. After decimal, we have a two digits. So random digit assignment, we are going to assign it in a two digits. So 0, 1, 2, 1, 0. Again, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. So up to 3, 5. The next value lies from 3, 6, 2, this value that is 7, 0 after decimal what we have that is 7, 0. Again, after the next value, it lies in 7, 1, 2, 9, 1. And after that 9, 2, 2, 0, 0. This is what the random digit assignment for daily demand distribution. This is the daily demand what they are given, the demand and the probability values they will be given in the question itself. Next is a lead time distribution table. So lead time distribution table, lead time and the probability they are given here. So the cumulative probability we have to do 0 0.6 that is 0 0.6 here. Zero point six again if I add zero point six and zero point three, you are going to get zero point nine, and the last value will always be one, one point zero. So now after decimal we have only one digit. So the random digit assignment starts from 1 to 6. That's all. Again here it's from 
7 to 9 and this one is 0. So this is a random digit distribution for the lead time. The next is each cycle review period. For every cycle, uh, every 5 days, we have to do the review. So it's given in the question. For every 5 days, we have to do the review. Next, for th we have to do this for 3 cycles. So 3 into 5, that is fifth, total 15 days we have to do. There are 3 inventory levels on each day. So there are 3 late time. That, this is also the given in the question lecture. Now start the simulation table. Simulation table for M into N inventory system. M is nothing but the value it's 11 and N is 5 days. So number of days we are going to get it is here the 15 days and the cycle is 3 cycles. In each cycle we have 5 days. So in each cycle we have 5 days. First cycle 5 days, second cycle 5 days and the third cycle it is a 5 days. So random digit for demand, it's given in the question. These values, the 15 values, they are given in the question. And the random digit for lead time also, the, these three values, they are given in the question itself. So now what we have to do? So beginning inventory. Beginning inventory, it's given in the question, three units. So three units only, we have uh, three refrigerators with us at the very beginning. So random digit for demand. So we have a value that is random digit for demand is 24. So demand we have to calculate how we are going to see that demand value is using a table, demand table. So here we have a demand table, demand table for 24, 24 lies between 11 and the 35. So our demand will be 1. So we have to calculate like this the demand, the demand value here we are going to get it is 1. So the next value, the next first we will calculate ending inventory. The next is an ending inventory. What is ending inventory? We have a beginning inventory that is we have a three refrigerators with us and on that day we have a demand of one refrigerator. So we are going to sell that refrigerator and the ending inventory. What is the ending number of refrigerators we have with us? It's two. Any shortage? No shortage because still we have a two refrigerators with us. Demand is only one. So the shortage, there is no shortage with us. The next day, how many refrigerators we have? Previous day, we, we have a three refrigerator. One we sold it and at the end of the day, we have a two refrigerator. Next day, same number of refrigerators. It's there as a beginning inventory. And the random digit for demand, it's given 35. 35 they are given. 35 lies in the demand table where 35 lies. So on that column, the demand is 1. So we have to enter the value. The demand value is 1. So beginning inventory is true. And the demand we have on that particular day is 1. So ending inventory is 1. There is no shortage quantity here. So it's 0. Next, the third day, in the question they are given, in the question, what they are given after two days. The beginning inventory is three units and order of eight units. Order of eight units is scheduled to arrive in two days time. After two days, eight units it's going to arrive after two days. So ending inventory of the previous day, it is one and plus eight units. Plus plus eight units, it's going to arrive after two days. It, so the beginning inventory is going to become a 9. So random digit for demand it is 65. Let us see in that table 65 lies in between 36 to 70. So demand is 2 refrigerators demand. We have a demand of 2. And the ending inventory that is 9 minus 2 we are going to get a 7 ending inventory. There is no shortage quantity. And beginning inventory here is it is Ending inventory of the previous day. Previous day we ended with the seven refrigerators. So now fourth day beginning inventory is seven. And that day random digit for demand what they are given. It is demand 81. 81 lies between 71 to 81. So there is a demand of three value. Demand of three. 
So ending inventory is 7 minus 3, it is 4. So any shortage, there is no shortage over here. So ending inventory on the fourth day, that is the beginning inventory of the fifth day, 4. So 54, we have a random digit for 54, that is 54 lies in between 2. So ending inventory, that is 4 minus 2, it is 2. And any shortage quantity, there is no shortage quantity. So now let us write the demand. Instead of uh, checking each and every time, I am going to write a demand here. That is 0, 03. 0, 03 lies in between. Where it lies 0, 03, that is 0, 01 to 10, the demand is 0. So there is no demand on that particular day. 0. Zero. Next is 87, where the 87 lies here, 87 lies between 71 to 91, so the demand is 3, demand is 3. So like this, if I see the table, I am going to get these values, instead of checking each and every time, I am going to write a demand directly, you see the table, and verify it once. These are the demand values. How to see this demand? For 5 values I shown how to check for the demand. The remaining values also you check. And next is the 6th day. Day 6 but cycle 2. First day. First day of the cycle. So here we have a order quantity here. Order quantity, how much is the order quantity? 11 will be there. So, how much is the ending inventory? 2. Order quantity of maximum we can do order of 11 units. So, 11 units we can do an order. So, if I want to do 11 units as an order, I have a 2 refrigerator along with me. So, I have to minus these 2. That is 11 minus 2. We are going to get a value. 11 minus 2 that is order quantity it is 9. This 9 refrigerators when it is going to arrive at the second cycle. We have to check that one using a lead time. So random digit for lead time they are given here 5. 5 in a lead time distribution you have to see. So here 1 minus 6. Sorry 1 to 6 it is lies in between 1 to 6. So the lead time will become 1. The lead time will become 1 and the daily day until the order arrives. Day until the order arrives, it will become 1. Same it is as it is. Whatever the lead time we are going to get, that is nothing but the day until the order arrives. So in the next cycle, first day of the next cycle, ending inventory is 2 itself. Because day until the order arrives, after one day, this 9 order is going to arrive. So now, Previous whatever the ending inventory is there, the same thing we have to enter here the as a beginning inventory. And the demand of 0. We don't have a demand on that particular day. So we are not going to sell any refrigerator. So as it is, 2 will be our ending inventory. There is no shortage quantity over here also. The next day, this is day until the order arrive. After one day, the 9 orders we are going to arrive plus along with that the ending inventory of previous day so that is 9 plus 2 that is equal to 11 11 units of refrigerator is there at the seventh day that is the cycle 2 and second day in a second cycle the next is Demand. On that particular day, we have a demand of 3 units. So, 11 minus 3. 11 minus 3 is nothing but the value 8. So, 11 minus 3 is 8. That is, there is no shortage variety over here. The next is the ending inventory will become a beginning inventory. We have a demand of 1. 8 minus 1. That is nothing but it is 7. There is no shortage variety here. Again, Ending inventory will become a beginning inventory 7, 7 minus 3, that is 4. There is no shortage quantity, so it is 0. Again, 4 will be the beginning inventory 4 minus 2, it is 2. 4 minus 2, it's 2. There is no shortage quantity. 
so order quantity order what we have to do order quantity we have we can order up to 11 units but we have a ending inventory of two refrigerators it's already there with us so what we have to do here again 11 minus 2 itself 11 minus 2 is equal to 9 we have a 9 order quantity we are going to get. So lead time 0 where the 0 lies in the lead time distribution table you have to check 0 lies here at that particular column we have a lead time that is 3. So the 3 value we are going to get here 3. can enter the value 3. So it is nothing but after 3 days we are going to get an order. So here after 3 days you are going to get your order. So the next one, the next beginning inventory is nothing but the previous ending inventory. So we are going to have a 2 as a beginning inventory, 2 minus 2, there is a demand of 2 refrigerators and 2 minus 2 we are going to get ending inventory is 0. There is no shortage quantity here. So the next day we don't have a refrigerators with us. Previous day we don't have any refrigerators. The order of 9 quantity is going to arrive 3 days. After 3 days it is going to arrive. So here beginning inventory is 0. There is a demand of 2 refrigerator. We don't have beginning inventory, ending inventory will be zero. But here there is a shortage quantity of two refrigerators because on that particular day we have a demand of two. So here also beginning inventory will become zero and we have a demand of two refrigerators and here ending inventory will be zero. Previous day we already we have a shortage of two refrigerators. Along with that we have today two refrigerators shortage so 2 plus 2 we are going to get a value it is 4 so 4 shortage quantity we have third day on third day we are going to get a order of 9 refrigerators so 9 refrigerators are arrived on the fourth day why because after 3 days we are going to get a order so 9 refrigerator on that particular day we have one refrigerator one demand of one refrigerator and previous day there is a shortage of four refrigerator total demand is nothing but it is five refrigerator demand is there so nine minus five we you have to do nine minus five so it is nothing but nine minus five it is four so any shortage there is no shortage whatever the shortage we have in a previous day that also we fulfilled and on that particular day whatever the demand we have that also we fill fulfilled so there is no shortage over here so beginning inventory here it is 4 and the demand is there is no demand on that particular day so ending inventory will become 0 and here it is 0 so next is the next value is order quantity order up to 11 refrigerators we can add order but the ending inventory we have here it is 4 4 refrigerator is already there with us so 11 minus 4 11 minus 4 we are going to order next it is 7 so 3 random digit for the lead time that is 3 value 3 lies between 1 to 6 that is a lead time here 1 lead time here it is 1 and and the day order arrives after that that is also the value it is 1 so now we have to calculate average ending inventory total number of ending inventory that is 47 and the number of days is 15 so that value we are going to get here is 3.133 units and number of days the shortage quant units number of days how many number of days that we got we are going to get a shortage quantity that is two units this is about the refrigeratory problem thank you for watching subscribe the channel to watch more videos related to system modeling and simulation thank you everyone